thousand bucks for a single winner. The sweepstakes ends June 6th and you can only enter once per week. Today is the unofficial start of the summer travel season and National Road Trip Day. Imagine that. What better way to celebrate than make a day out of it? This is a live look at the beach in Gulf Shores, where a lot of people will be headed this weekend. In fact, AAA says nearly 43 million Americans will start their summer with a Memorial Day weekend getaway. Nearly 38 million of them will take a road trip to do it. Looks hot down there, mm -hmm. and it's going to be hot with Sarah Canty. Yes, it's going to be very hot all weekend long and into next week. So we are entering a long stretch of 90 degree days. Here's a live look all across the area right now. All we're seeing is puffy cumulus clouds. No rain clouds out there. We're nice and dry, but very warm and humid. 91 right now in Anniston, 94 in Tuscaloosa, getting close to that 96 degree record high temperature, but didn't hit it quite yet. We have plenty more opportunities to hit a record though into the weekend 90 in Alabaster and 92 right now in Clanton. So if you're traveling south on I 65, you are going to need the air conditioning and throughout the day tomorrow. It is going to be a warm one mid 90s for your afternoon highs. Upper 90s in West Alabama, 97 is where we'll fall in Tuscaloosa tomorrow afternoon, 92 in Hamilton and 94 in Coleman. So why is it so hot? Well, we have this ridge of high pressure that is just parked over us and this sinking motion just suppresses any rain and also helps to heat things up. So we're going to be in the 90s all weekend long and off to our west and east also dealing with heat towards Georgia and to our east. We are there going to be even hotter around Savannah. They're going to be in the 100 degree temperatures and even more humid. So I know it could be worse, but it is going to be feeling pretty rough throughout the weekend. We could possibly break a record tomorrow in Birmingham. The record is at 95. We're forecasting 94. So we're nearing the record possible. That was set back in 1962. So definitely getting close to that and well above average for this time of year. We should be right around 84 degrees off to our west right now we have severe weather still back to near Wichita Falls and near Oklahoma City as well we are nice and dry and that ridge of high pressure is the reason why we are not going to see any of that rain off to our west tracking towards us we are just going to stay dry very sunny to start out the day tomorrow and through the afternoon we'll be nice and dry and I'm just gonna let futurecast go because there is nothing to see on futurecast through the weekend and to start off your Memorial Day so thankfully it is going to be very nice this weekend as far as rain goes, but it will be a very hot and humid holiday forecast for us. So on Monday, we will be starting off very balmy and in the low 70s, warming up to the 90s throughout the afternoon. 94 and 95 is likely where we'll hit on the Memorial Day holiday, but throughout the weekend, it is just going to be very hot. Mid to upper 90s in West Alabama, even warmer than that upper 90s and feeling more like the low 100s when you factor in the humidity. The relief in sight is towards the end of the week. Where we're going to see a break in this pattern. Finally, that ridge breaks down and we'll add rain and slightly cooler temperatures back into the forecast by Friday. Jack.